Hello, this is Brad. I am with Midcontinent Public Library, and welcome back to our Windows Widgets series. In this series, we look at often overlooked widgets and apps and resources, all available within our Windows Microsoft computers. Today, we are going to look at the character map and see how it can be used to quickly find symbols and characters that might not be available on our standard QWERTY keyboard. Let's go ahead and get started. I have started a project here in Microsoft Word. I am typing out a paper, and let's say I need to insert a character or a symbol that does not appear on my keyboard. How can I find that? Well, the answer is the character map. In order to access that, I go down to my Windows Start Menu button, and then from there, I can navigate to my alphabetical menu. I will select this letter A, and the character map is in the Windows Accessories folder, so I will go down to the letter W, and then within the Windows Accessories folder, I will see the character map near the top. And here I can find all kinds of different characters and symbols that might not be available on my keyboard. Let's say, for instance, I needed a capital letter A with a tilde above it. I can easily see that right there. Or maybe I need this registered trademark icon or this copyright icon right here. All of those and many, many more are available within this menu. Let's just take a look down here and see all of these different icons that are available. If you're typing something in a different language other than English, this could be very helpful, as there are lots of different symbols and other characters that we do not use in our English alphabet but you can easily locate those within our character map. And as you can tell, this is quite the extensive list here. At the top here, we are looking at the Arial font, but I can easily select a different font and it will adjust the character map to show me that icon in that particular font. There may be certain fonts that do not have all the characters. Here's just another example of another font that we have available here in the character map. And in order to insert this, I select what I want. I select the select button and then I copy that. And then I could easily right click and paste that into whatever it is I was working on. In this case, it's a paper, but it could be an email or any other written text. Let's go ahead and pull up the character map again. And let's go back to my Calibri font because that is what my paper is being written in. And before I insert anything else, I'd need to clear my dialog box down here. But then I am ready to go ahead and select. And then I select copy. And then I can easily right click and paste that or use the keyboard shortcut, control V. Down here, I have an advanced view that I can use to see more information. If I knew the name of the character or symbol that I was looking for, I could enter that down here into the search bar and then search for that. That could be handy instead of scrolling and looking through all of these different characters if I knew exactly what it was I was looking for. If I was searching for a tilde, I could do that or the registered trademark icon. I could just enter the word registered and it brings up that registered trademark icon right there for me. And then I could easily select that and then copy it and paste it to my project. And in order to reset this, I need to select the reset button over here. And now I see my full screen of results again. There are other dropdowns here. This dropdown can be handy if I was going to be working in one particular language. This would shorten the menu and only show me 
characters and symbols associated with that particular language. This menu could also be handy in classifying different characters so that I do not have to see that whole gigantic list when I am only working in one language. And here are some other different groups as well. And if I knew the Unicode keyboard shortcut, I could use that over here. For instance, if I enter 0041, that is the letter A. If I enter 0055, that is the letter U. And so anyone used to that code could use that to find a character within the character map menu. Here I see an example of the Unicode down here. And this could just be a very handy way to find different characters you might need as you are working on a paper or an email or any kind of written text. It's just another handy little feature you can find within your Windows computer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our MCPL 360 Facebook page. We premiere new videos there every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. And if you miss the premiere on Facebook, you can watch all of our videos on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our MCPLMO YouTube channel to watch all of those. This has been Brad. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day.